Hi everyone and welcome to Strix Outdoors YouTube. In this video I'm going to share what ended up being the conclusion to an absolutely epic day of hunting. But before we get into that I wanted to take a moment to recognize that the coronavirus pandemic is going on right now. Our society has been kind of shut down but there are a lot of people that are that have really stepped up and I wanted to acknowledge and thank all of those people that are putting themselves at risk to keep us all going. So obviously all the people, the first responders, the people in the medical fields that are helping all those that are becoming ill but also I wanted to recognize all those other people that are sometimes unsung heroes, the grocery store workers, the, the postage delivery and package delivery people, Amazon, FedEx, UPS, USPS, and all those people out there that are really making it possible for a lot of us to stay home and work from home to try to keep this under control. So thank you. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back and thank you. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to check out some of my other videos and consider hitting the like, subscribe, and notification bell to make sure you don't miss any future videos. Now for those of you that are watching this video and going, okay, when's he gonna get to the good part? Don't worry, check out the description below and I've got a tag for the timestamp where you can just skip to and watch the shot, but I hope you stick around and listen to a little bit of the story up front. Now, as I mentioned, this was an absolutely epic day of hunting for me. Now, I want to set a realistic expectation for all of, the, all of you out there that are maybe still novice hunters or just getting into it. This is not the norm. Most days I go out and I'm unsuccessful. Either I don't get a shot opportunity or I mess it up, especially bow hunting. There's so many ways that you can mess up a stalk or, um, or a shot. But if you stay persistent and you do it long enough, eventually things line up and today was one of those days. The day started super early in the morning in Houston. I got up, left the house by three o'clock and made the couple hour drive to my deer lease. Now the primary objective that day was to turkey hunt. So I set up in a new spot that I'd scouted the weekend before. Sure enough, at daylight, the turkeys were gobbling. I was super pumped and not very long into the morning, this stud of a tom came right into the decoys and I was able to make a shot with my bow. This was the first turkey I'd taken with my bow and he was an absolute stud. Now I got mediocre video of that hunt, so unfortunately I don't have a lot to share, but here's a quick picture. So riding the high for my morning hunt, you know, I gathered my things, took pictures, celebrated taking this wonderful turkey in the morning and thought, well, you know what? The feeder has just gone off and maybe I can get a shot at a hog. So I quickly grabbed all my things, I rushed over. But unfortunately, when I got into the stand, the corn was gone, the hogs had already come through. Um, luckily, I'd brought in some corn in a five gallon bucket, about half the bucket full. I went ahead and tossed that on the ground, got in the stand and hunted for about an hour and a half, didn't see anything. Decided to come down, go into town to, to run some errands, grab some lunch. The forecast that afternoon was 60% or greater chance of rain, but I decided to go ahead and take my chances and get back into the stand in the afternoon and see if I might be able to catch hogs coming into the feeder in the afternoon. Now, it was about an hour and a half before the feeder was scheduled to go off, but I went ahead and started making my way into the stand. 
I knew there was a chance that the hogs might already be there, so I was pretty quiet and I was really being vigilant and watching around the feeder. As I snuck in, the vegetation was high, but I thought I caught some movement. And as I got closer, I actually noticed that there was a big group of hogs already there eating the corn that I dumped out earlier. Luckily, I already had the camera on the tripod and it was handy, so I went ahead and finished getting it set up. And then I made a stock to within 30 yards of that group of hogs and made a shot on this sow. Shot placement was excellent, although it was a bit off from where I was aiming. I'm not a huge fan of expandable broadheads for different reasons, but this Rage broadhead, I'll tell you what, it was absolutely devastating on this hog, and she didn't go very far at all. Now, I don't know what it is with me and hogs, but this one ran right into a prickly pear patch. Also, if you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link at the end of this video to the first one where I had the same thing happen. Different pig, different prickly pear patch. But anyway, it was pretty crazy anyway. So here's the video. Seriously, what is it with me and shooting pigs and cactus? The feeder doesn't go off until for several hours from now, I put some corn in a little bit earlier, midday. I didn't expect for there to be some hogs here already, but it's a big group of them. I snuck in within 30 yards and put a shot on that one black one that you saw. I can't explain this, but he also ran straight into the stinking cactus. I swear I don't have them trained to do that. I can't explain it. I know I'm kind of whispering, but there's still hogs around, so I don't know if they're going to come back. All right, I don't see him moving. I think he's done. I think that was a pretty good shot right in the shoulder. But let's go take a closer look. Shh. Hey, pig. Shot him with a rage, hit right in front of the shoulder it looks like. Holy smoke, that's devastating. It's starting to rain, but I want you guys to see this trail. I'm not a huge fan of expandables, but uh, they definitely do a tr do the trick whenever there's my arrow broken off I don't know I'm guessing the broadhead is still inside of them maybe you can't get much quicker than that it looks like I'm gonna have to work in the rain a little bit Another one in the cactus. I don't know what to tell you. Hey guys, I gotta get to work. Until next time, thanks for watching.